Good evening, oh, more like good afternoon. I hope all of you are doing well. Um, this afternoon's video is going to be a follow-up to the, uh, My Journal Collection video, where I talk about my collection of both pens and pencils that I have gotten, you know. If I have a problem when it comes to journals and impulse buying, eh, pens are about the same way for me. I like to collect pens, but I'm very picky about the types of pens that I uh, use. And that will bring me to my first pen. It's a zebra pen, and it is an F301.7 millimeter. This is by far the best pen I probably have ever used. I like the way it writes. It has a very fine, um, a very fine point to it, which I prefer. If I can get out a piece of paper from my desk of um, junk, and I can see if I can write and demonstrate to you. I just, I enjoy the way it writes, that might or might not show up, I might have had to make it a bit bigger, but um, I just find my writing, which is primarily awful, to actually be semi-decent when I use the uh, zebra pen. Next is a uh, one, it's actually a pen and pencil set, this is only just the pen um, right now. Um, both the pen and pencil set comes in the same casing, and I picked this up at a garage sale a long time ago. It's a Pierre Cardin. I'm assuming they're expensive. Um, but this is my second favorite pen next to the Zebra, and let me see if I can uh, see what this one, how this one writes. I know that there are very expensive pens out there. On the bottom, it's a bit darker. Um, I, I still like the Zebra pen better than I do the Pierre Cardin pen, um, even though I'm pretty sure these cost a pretty penny. This is another Zebra pen, but it's not an 0.7 millimeter. I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but I'm not really a big fan of how this one writes either. I mean, it's okay, but uh, I don't know. That one's the third one down. Um, now, these are pens that I like. Now, I'll come to pens that look good aesthetically, but they don't write very well. This one I got off of. Um, Amazon it looks really nice. Uh, it's a, I think it's supposed to be a rosewood. It's very aesthetically nice. I have gotten quite a few comments on it. It's fancy, but it's a gel. It's a gel pen, and I don't like the way that they write. I have never really enjoyed uh, gel pens. They make my handwriting look awful um, if I'm writing complete sentences. Um, that one down on the, on the below, and depending entirely on the uh, pen or paper, paper that you use, it'll bleed through. Now these ones are novelty pens, never mind this one right here, it's just an extra zebra pen because they're good. <laughs> This one was one of the first novelty ones I got. You can pick these up for one dollar at Dollar General during the season, you know, Christmas season. It's got a little angel on it. It, it doesn't write very well, but I didn't. Uh, I knew it wasn't going to write very well when I bought it. 
I just bought it because I like the aesthetics. I like the design. And it's just a very nice, aesthetically pleasing pen. Um, it's always been one of my favorite ones. This one, same one, Dollar General. It's got this Christmas theme. It's got the little bells on there. Just really quite enjoy it. And uh, this one has a Christmas tree on it. Uh, they're novelty. Like you can collect them. Yeah, so you're not gonna write um, very well with them. But uh, next, uh, pencil pencils. Now, for the longest time, these right here, these right here used to be my very favorite pencils to use. Dixon Ticonderoga. They would sharpen well. They would write smooth. And they were just a very high quality pencil. This is what they look like out of the box. Very nice. You can see a nice sharp... Uh, point right there, Dixon Ticonderoga, and they feel really nice. This is the same thing, Dixon Ticonderoga, only it's in black. My favorite is black. This one I didn't sharpen, see, so the point isn't as nice, but uh, it's, I like it. But the Dixon Ticonderogas have been um, beaten out by uh, these ones. I found out about these a couple months ago. Decided to try them out. Black wings. And uh, this is what they look like. I mean, they, and they sharpen nice. They write really nice. And, you know, they are, they are, they ought to write pretty nice if you're going to pay 25 bucks for a, a pack of 12 of them. So, yeah, they ought to. So, that is the end of my pen and pencil collection. I'm sure, oh no, it's not, wait, again, these ones right here, uh, I almost forgot about these, and kind of for good reason, too, they're Arteza, black 0.7 millimeter point, which is the exact same as these, which is why I picked up a whole bunch of these, but, again, it has that thick ink ink to it it just it, it looks okay but it just writes it just really writes oh and this is the thickest one of them all it's, it's a complete liquid ink it's it's, it's, a, it's a gel pen that will completely bleed through it's this one right here and uh, it just makes my writing that's already atrocious, look even worse. I'm kicking myself in the butt for buying 20 of these things. Uh, I probably couldn't even give these away. <laughs> uh, but you know, when people have a problem when it comes to buying, they will make a mistake occasionally and buy products they're not all that fond of <laughs> okay now that officially ends my uh pen and pencil review i hope you enjoy it and have a